what's up everybody so today's lecture is again about the ICT silver bullet strategy uh, the reason is that people are losing money uh, using the silver bullet strategy uh, because they don't know how to trade they just uh, find a fair value gap and they enter into a trade uh, today one of my friends entered into this trade because uh, he said this is 3 to 4 m window and this is the fair value gap so i will enter into my longs here and he got entered here and you can see it came down and he got stopped out the stop loss was around here so uh, i have seen people they just find a fair value gap and they either enter into their longs or their shorts so uh, it's not that simple you have to trade it the right way so Today I will explain in detail the silver bullet strategy and then I will show you two examples one this one why not to enter into such structure and I will show another structure uh, which is a valid silver bullet structure okay so what is silver bullet strategy uh, in silver bullet strategy you have to find a fair value gap during 3 to 4 a.m. New York time and 10 to 11 a.m. New York time like you have to draw these vertical lines uh, let me show you how to draw it this is your 3 a.m. and this is the 4 a.m. so uh, you have to draw these lines you can change your timings to the New York from here you can change the time zone to UTC New York and then draw these lines at 3 to 4 a.m. and 10 to 11 a.m. so this is uh, the first step to do then uh, in fair silver bullet strategy you have to find a fair value gap and when the gap gets filled you have to enter here so i will explain what is fair value gap uh, you can see that the gap between the top of this candle and the bottom of this candle this gap is called the fair value gap okay like you have to enter here once the gap gets filled during 3 to 4 am or 10 to 11 a.m. Uh, let me draw this fair value gap for you. Like you will get a candle, then there will be another candle. Then after the close of the third candle, if you get a gap between the top of this candle and the bottom of this, this is called the fair value gap. So uh, you have to find a fair value gap, which is also called FVG, to get an entry. But not every fair value gap. Is valid okay uh, you don't have to enter into every other fair value gap just like this one so I will explain why this is not a fair value gap so you can see that uh, the price went up from there here to there it didn't sweep this high okay the sweep didn't happen and also the lows were not swept and uh, this is euro so its SMT pair is uh, GBP you can see that here it uh, the GBP swept this high so there was a liquidity sweep in the GBP there was no liquidity sweep in the euro so in such examples you cannot just enter into your loans like this is a bearish divergence you can see this is up and this is down so this is called a bearish divergence so uh, you have to check the SMT pair if there is a bearish divergence you cannot enter into that silver bullet trade uh, let me show you another example which is a valid uh, ICT silver bullet trade I have shown it here let me zoom it in so in this case you can see that this is the 3 to 4 m window again and here we got a fair value gap okay and just as the gap got filled it started pumping because you can see that this is a bullish divergence okay 
like uh, in the previous case uh, that was a bearish divergence in this case this is a bullish divergence so once you get a bullish divergence on the correlated pairs and then you get this fair value gap then you can enter once the gap gets filled and your stop loss will be below the swing low okay like if you entered here this is your stop loss and you have to close after 10 pips what is pips you like uh, you can see this five okay you can see this five this is one pip if it changes to 1.10916 this is one pip so uh, you can target 15 pips usually i target 10 pips just to be safe but according to ict you can target 15 pips so you can see that you have to enter here and your stop loss will be below here okay so this is how you enter you have to find these um, bearish and bullish divergences if there is a bearish divergence you cannot enter into your loans if there is a bullish divergence then you cannot enter into your shorts you can see there is a bullish divergence and there is a fair value gap so this is a valid fair value gap and it pumped okay so this is how it works uh, you have to look for divergences with fair value gaps i hope it's clear uh, if you have any question you can ask me thank you